Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sneaker Updates. Today will be Sneaker Updates number five. So I decided to essentially make this a weekly series just because you guys seem to like these videos so much. Basically, in these videos, I talk about a variety of different shoes, those of which may include some off-white and Nike sneakers, some Yeezys, Jordans, and much, much more. But with that short little introduction out of the way, why don't we jump into the first update? You're, you're behind the couch. <laughs> what? How do you know that? I can um, see your feet. Ah. All right, so to kick it off, as much as I want to talk about Jordans, I know the vast majority of you guys really want to hear about what's going on with the upcoming Nike and Off-White sneakers. The first two shoes that we're actually going to be discussing consist of the Halloween Blazers, those of which are going to be the Grim Reapers, which consist of a black upper and the white swoosh, then the All Hallows Eve Blazers, which consist of an off-white upper with an orange swoosh. So initially, Pirates, a very reliable source, stated that the Grim Reapers would release on the 15th and the Hollows Eve would release on the 22nd. However, they were then delayed to a later date. Now, Pirates has updated this to both of them releasing on the 27th of September for $130. Initially, I was expecting this date to only be for individual retailers and not Nike sneakers, but as of now, it seems like it might be quite the contrary. The reason I've been saying this is because End Clothing has been really confusing me. Initially, End Clothing did say the 27th. However, then they changed it to October October 10th. After that, they then changed it to October 3rd, which it has now remained as. Now, in addition to End Clothing, SNS has also announced that they will be releasing these shoes on October 3rd. So at this point, it's pretty evident that most individual retailers will be releasing these sneakers on October 3rd, not the 27th. But I do think that there is a reason why the 27th was an important date for Pirates. So perhaps there's a chance that that date is for the Nike sneakers release date. Perhaps we'll see a product page pop up very soon if not a product page of course you guys always have to watch out for those upcoming scratch drop which consists of the behind the design page and you have to start swiping on a random image or you might see an upcoming sneakers pass those of which have all been surprise drops recently or simply a shock drop for a leo drop regarding stock for these sneakers according to pirates for each individual store there's supposed to be 150 to 200 pairs to draw a comparison for this the off-white vapor maxes in the version 2 released about two 250 to 300 pairs per store as you guys know those shoes let alone were pretty difficult to cop so now you compare those with a shoe that only has a retail of 130 dollars and now is only releasing 150 to 200 pairs per store so clearly this is going to be a difficult shoe to cop but when it comes to all off-white and nike sneakers you guys should not be sleeping for personal wear not only that but they're going to be profitable if you want to resell the shoes i will be making a how to cop guide for these shoes so turn on post notifications and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Now, moving on to the Serena Williams and Off-White sneakers being the Blazers and also the Off-White 97s. Now, this is a sneaker that we've been talking about for the past month. We've been talking about this sneaker forever and it's really frustrating because we keep getting updates on it. Some stuff keeps getting changed and it's extremely frustrating. But basically, official images for these and also the Halloween Blazers have now loaded up onto sneakers. So, of course, no matter what, you guys should have your eyes peeled for all of these drops. I know a lot of people were saying that the 26th was a possible date for a shock drop, being that that was Serena Williams' birthday. However, I disagree with this simply because she's a Jehovah's Witness and Jehovah's Witnesses do not actually celebrate their birthday. So I don't think that date would have any significance on the release. If they were to release on the 26th, I would say that it was a mere coincidence and that's all. One more thing regarding the 97s, obviously we saw in the past a Nike representative stated that these would release or most likely release on the 20th. Unfortunately, there was no release for these on the 20th of September. So I guess we still know that we should be getting these in the future. But the main takeaway from this is that everything that Nike reps say should be taken with a grain of salt because more often than not, they don't even know what's going on. Moving on to the next Nike and Off-White update. This one is actually a pretty big deal and I'll tell you guys why. So first of all, 
We have the Nike and Off-White Waffle Pack dropping in May of 2019. Apparently there are supposed to be three different sneakers in this pack. Now the reason this update is a big deal is because there were initially rumors that Virgil was going to leave Nike after the new year. Now that we see there is another collab in May of 2019, it looks like he's going to be staying and of course that is great news for all of you guys who want to cop personal pairs for Off-White because the longer Virgil is with Nike, the easier it is going to be to cop these sneakers. Finally, the very last Off-White and Nike update is very short. Essentially, we have some Zoom Flies releasing October 15th. First of all, we have the Tulip Pink pair, then we also have the Black and White pair. So with Nike and Off-White out of the way, I know guys, there was a lot of stuff we had to cover, but now let's jump to some Yeezys. Jumping into the Yeezys, the first update we have revolves around the static Yeezy 350 V2s. In the last updates video we made, we discussed that these were a potential drop coming in the next couple of months, but now we know that Yeezy Mafia has confirmed these to be releasing in December of 2018. Now the thing with these pairs is it's not not just one pair it's actually going to be two pairs now I'm not sure if one is going to be a friends and family or if they're both going to have equal amount of stock but basically one pair is going to be reflective all in 3m not just the laces but the entire thing in 3m and then the other pair will have no 3m at all also apparently Yeezy Mafia stated that fake factories don't actually have the technology as of now to produce the fly in it which is reflective or made out of 3m so if you do happen to see any reflective pairs where only only the laces are reflective then you will know that those pairs are most likely going to be fake so keep your eyes open guys anyway I'm excited for these pairs to be releasing let me know what you guys think about these down in the comments below moving on to the next update I just wanted to remind you guys that since the cream Yeezys did just release if you're looking for a personal pair I do believe there still are some sitting on adidas.com and also Yeezy supply me personally I did happen to cop a personal pair just because I like the shoe I don't really care that there's no hype on them in addition to that though I did cop a 16 I know there were very very few of them made despite this being such a large-scale release and they're actually going for quite a bit so I'm pretty happy with that so shout out to anyone else who copped a personal pair or a size 16 moving on to the next easy update we have official images for the Salt Yeezy 500s, which are releasing this November. Moving on, we have a closer look at the Yeezy 700 V2, which is said to be releasing soon as well. Okay, so with the Yeezys out of the way, now let's finally move on to some Jordans. So today, the Jordan 1 Pine Green and Court Purple just released. Hopefully you guys were able to cop a pair, whether it be in store, through some raffles, or on Nike sneakers. I'm actually recording this video on Friday, the day before Saturday, so hopefully I'm able to lock out. I'll post some pictures on the screen if I'm editing this on Saturday to show you guys if I was able to lock out. But anyway, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you guys cop today. Moving on, we actually have a closer look at the Cactus Jack Jordan 4 in purple. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be a friends and family pair because we have the Nike Air on one pair instead of it being a Jumpman. In addition to that, we actually see that they use a different material on the inside of the sneaker. But aside from that, I'm just looking forward to this shoe releasing overall. Moving on to one of the updates I'm actually really excited to share with you guys. We have the Jordan 5 Fresh Princes releasing September 25th. Now the grapes really haven't been my favorite Jordan 5, I still like them, don't get me wrong, but I definitely want to cop this sneaker just because of the story behind it, if you guys can tell, there's no laces on the sneaker now, sure, you can wear any pair of grapes without laces, the thing with these though, the tongue is actually stitched in a manner so you're able to wear no laces, but it doesn't feel loose on you and so the tongue doesn't slide to the left right or even flop forward not only that but there are also some pretty unique details on the insole and of course you got that nike air on the back how could you guys go wrong with that moving on we got two new jordan 4s releasing in 2019 a red with a gum sole and then we have sort of a graffiti look on one pair now the problem with this is i don't know if these fours are going to be replacing the rumored bread fours that were supposed to be releasing Hopefully not, because I would much rather see the bread fours with the Nike Air on the back. Now, with the Jordans out of the way to close out the video, let's just talk about some miscellaneous sneakers. The first shoe I wanted to mention actually was the Futurecraft 4D. Apparently, Packers Shoes is giving away free pairs of the 4Ds 
Well, not really free because you have to spend $100 in store. The only way I would suggest signing up for this raffle because they probably don't have too many pairs. Only if you were looking to buy some apparel anyway or some shoes anyway. Don't go out of your way to sign up for this raffle because it is $100. $100 you don't want going down the drain for no reason. Anyway, when you spend that $100, they're going to give you a little piece of 4D material with the number on it. And then they're going to select multiple numbers for the winner. Speaking of 4Ds, we also just saw another another 4D release. This was the Foot Patrol 4D. And finally, the last sneaker that we're going to be talking about today, the CDG Air Force Ones will be releasing in November according to Sneaker News. I know guys, there's a lot of other stuff that happened this week, but I don't want this video to go on too long. So with that, I'm gonna close it out. Shout out to all my sources, which include SNS, Pirates, Yeezy Mafia, J23 app, and Soul Link. So with that guys, Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if you perhaps learned a thing or two. Also, feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay updated on any of these shoes that I just mentioned or any hype shoe releasing in the future. With that though, I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I should have run the other way. Now there's just one thing to say. Get your foot off my foot. Ah. Get your foot off my foot.